What's up guys? Back with another Need for Speed Payback video on Need for Speed Payback. Obviously. Every time. All the time. Every time. Um, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna sound a bit stuffy, but then again, uh, out of all my old videos, I always sound stuffy, so... It's not gonna sound much different, but I'm gonna be sniffing a lot, so... Brace yourselves. Alright. Today we're going to be looking at a drift build that I had done like a while back ago, but I rarely used it ever since I got it to like 299. Uh, it is the Nissan Silvia Spec R Aereo. I'm assuming this is the S14. I think it's the S14. I think. I don't know. Um, we have this Goku kind of vibe from this Nissan. You know, his gi is like orange and the inside like his boots are blue so you know I don't know I don't know I'm stupid all right we got air suspension we got blue nitrous and blue tire smoke which looks and evens it out everything this time when this car's drifting around the block and shit uh for the color we got like this dark orange metallic look uh suspension all the way down of course uh camber pretty much evened out to the front uh, and customization, we got the window tin. We got to darken that up a bit, actually. Uh, we got the ghost hood with the hood pins and little vents right there. But also there's this other stuff that you can throw on there as well. We got some carbon, which looks pretty fucking cool. Um, we also got this little hood right here from Ghost. And we got the stock Nissan uh, hood. Uh, front bumper, we got the Rocket Bunny front bumper. But also there's the stock you can leave that on as you wish. Obviously, Need for Speed has learned that we want to mix match your stuff, but I prefer to keep everything normal as such. Uh, headlights. Uh, so one cool thing about this Nissan is um, when you you can change the color of the headlights, so you can just pretty much do the color standard color stuff. But also, there's a section where like you can also do the lids as well and also color them as well which is pretty fucking cool and kind of annoying how it doesn't have it on other cars which is kind of weird like the only car only other car that i could think of that has this option as well is the lamborghini uh Murcielago, which has like apparently the liberty walk body kit on it uh comes with the the headlights with lids on it I don't know, it's just weird, but I don't know. I just think that's pretty cool, and I feel like they should do this with every other car. But overall, it's a pretty cool little add-on right there. Front canards, I can't show you because the front bumper won't let me. But I'm not going to go ahead and do with that. Got a variety of splitters you could throw on there too. But I, I guess I just stuck with this Need for Speed one. But there's a variety of other ones right there that you can throw on. Uh, front fenders, obviously the Rocket Bunny front fenders. You could throw on the stocks if you want. You could throw on these, those, or those. Pretty much standard uh, fenders, other than the Rocket Bunny ones that stick out for miles. Uh, you could throw on these little weird wing mirrors, but I chose the stock. The side skirts, a variety of other ones, but I can't show you them because... Rocket Bunny is the way to go all the time, every time. Rocket Bunny rear fenders to match the front. And then there's this right here. There's other stuff that you can throw on as well, but who cares about that stuff? It's all about Rocket Bunny. Uh, tail lights tinted black. We got pretty much Rocket Bunny rear fender. There's also other stuff that just makes it look like, I guess, something else. And obviously you guys know the Need for Speed diffusers, the basic diffusers and stuff like that. These probably look a little bit different, but overall you know what they are. Uh, exhausts, I have the little f four exit exhaust right there, but Need for Speed exhaust, you already know what they look like. Stuff, standard, standard stuff. Uh, as you can see, we get the less plate saying Goku, obviously. Uh, trunk lid, we got the Rocket Bunny trunk lid, which adds... Which adds... Nothing. Forgot. I swear, I thought it added hood pins, but I guess it didn't. I don't know what it adds, honestly, but I just threw it on there because Rocket Bunny. And then, obviously, you can add in whatever type of spoiler you have want. Uh, I got the Rocket Bunny spoiler. You could stick with the stock spoiler if you want to. Looks, doesn't look that bad. Got this little lip or bump right there. Got the Garage Mac. Mac? Garage Mac? 
wing. Uh, you got Need for Speed wing, you got A Performance wing, and you got another A Performance wing. I just stuck with uh, Rocket Bunny Duck Lip wing, or spoiler, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, uh, for the rims, we got some work rims. Got them deep, uh, Little Caesars deep dish pizzas. Little Caesars deep pepperoni deep dish pizzas. Um, color is like a dark metallic blue. Um, also on the lip as well, dark metallic blue. Oh. Uh, size kind of like one tick to the to the left from all the way to the right, and then go one back. So it's not too big. Uh, no decals on the tires. Try to keep a clean, nice little look. But yeah, overall that's the customization. Uh, parts. Not the greatest parts, but some parts. Every part is level 12, level 299. Uh, heads, nitrous and speed perks. Block, nitrous and acceleration. ECU, brakes, nitrous and acceleration. Gearbox, acceleration and speed. Brakes and acceleration on the exhaust. And brakes and acceleration on the turbo. What you want to do for... Oh yeah, and every part is outlaw. Times 6 bonus. Best, best brain in the game. But what you want to do with drift cars is you want to have the speed you want to have acceleration and you want to have brakes when I first started out this game I thought brakes weren't going to be a big issue for drifting but drifting when you tap the brakes drifting it helps a lot it helps you smoothly transition into the next turn handbrake it kind of just slows you down I didn't really use the handbrake too much I always have it on weak too so yeah alright oh I didn't want to exit out. I kind of wanted to teleport to the next one, but I guess we could fuck around for a little bit. I could show you the live tuning and stuff. And show you the bag suspension. Then we could teleport to the block, our main stage, and show you how it drifts around the little block and such. Oh, yes! Here we are. It's not morning, it's bit afternoon sunset time. But the sun is shining on all of us. Alright, we're going to bag it down like the dark color I have, especially the metallic, it just makes it look so sleek and nice. You see every little cut and curve and detail. It's beautiful. Oh yes. It's beautiful. You can hear the little turbo in the back there. Alright. Live tuning. Here we go. Quarter mile, 10.30. Top speed, 2.22. Uh, drift angle all the way to more, weight balance all the way to the front, and handbrake all the way to weaker. Same thing every time. But overall, like, I've drifted this car a couple of times. It looks amazing, obviously. Uh, drifting wise, it feels pretty smooth, honestly. Obviously, it's not gonna be, like, a drift missile, because it's level 299. But overall, it's a fun car to drift, especially if you're into the lower class types of cars. As you can see, it doesn't do too bad. It's actually pretty decent at drifting. Alrighty. Let's go drift the block and shit. Let's go do some shit with our lives in this game before it gets too dark. Uh. But yeah, been having really fun playing this game. Plymouth Barracuda came out, which was pretty cool. I had fun finding it. I, I didn't expect much from that car, but customization wise, it ended up looking really good. And I actually ended up keeping it. Probably upload a video in a couple days of the off road. I have it as an off road build, and it's actually pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, be uploading a video on that Plymouth Barracuda pretty soon. So, keep your eyes out for that. I might upload it tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. Alrighty, stay on the asphalt. Do not leave the asphalt for more than two seconds. Here we go. Go Ooh, look at that blue nitrous escaping our exhaust. Escape! Get the blue nitrous. Oh. 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 Gotta stay on the. Gotta stay on the asphalt here. Oh. Oh, oh, bitch. And we lost the side bed. Oh, penis. Ah, oh, my left nostril just opened and felt great. Alright, here we go. Let's go roundabout number two. I think 
go. We're doing a little better now. Now seat. Pick up some speed. There we go. That was a little bit better of a run. Last run here. Last lap, if you would want to call it. Yeah, but when I'm drifting mostly, I'm just tapping the brake like non-stop. That's all I'm doing. I'm always just tapping the brake. I tap the brake, tap the brake. Pretty much when I want to turn, I tap the brake. It slows down, but it just transitions the drift into the other section like this. I tap it, it turns, it slows down, it turns around, and it just perfectly just starts drifting again. Beautiful. So, sorry. Ugh. Boogers! Uh. Yeah, but that's how I drift. I just tap the brake when I need to turn, tap it, tap it. When I need to do a bit of a sharp turn or when I'm coming in too fast and I want to slow down a bit but still drift like pretty hard, that's when I use the brake. But that's why I always have the brake set to weaker so I don't lose a lot of speed. Because, yeah. Alrighty, let's go to another drift area here. Let's go let's go to the 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 the, the, the stargazers ascend. Yes. Let's do these. We could do we could go go up and then we could go down. No. No wait. No, no, no. Um uh, uh yeah, we I guess we could do that. Well, actually no. I don't know. I let wait. Oh shit, Hayden. Did you see that? Fucking off-road over a rock. What we could do is go to the go to the start off at the bottom. And then we could go to the top first. We could do that. We could start at the bottom and then start up to the top so we could end at the top. And then have that nice, beautiful... We could, and we could get a thumbnail at the end of it too, so... Yeah. Yeah, but I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to make my videos a lot uh, shorter. Because I know a lot of people like, like to see shorter videos. And then it's kind of dragged on at the end. It doesn't really... That speed trap was so hard to get. Let me tell you, that speed trap, it's at a turn. To get three stars on that thing, you had to go, you had to go above like 184 miles an hour, dude. I was on the regular and I was still struggling with that bitch, dude. It was so annoying. Ah. But yeah. Oh. Uh, well, next month is upon us. We're on the 31st of January today, by the time you guys see this video. So hopefully by next week, next month, uh, first week of I've when the first week passes by, hopefully we'll get the next DLC to this game. Hopefully it's something good. It's probably if it's something to do with Jess, then it's not gonna be that great. It's just gonna be some cops and standard shit. Maybe if we get the Jess uh, DLC Jess update and stuff, we'll get Jess. We'll see free roaming cops. We'll probably get free roam online, and then we'll probably get some like little missions here with Jess doing some shit on the side after we've got the racing scene back in Silver Rock or whatever this map is called where's this thing how the fuck do I get up there because I know yeah you can't get up through there or I guess I have to go around here Marshall who the f what did you guys hear that Marshall oh he's probably talking about the dude who owns this fucking thing looking at because he said who's look what's he looking at Oh, I get it, like telescopes and such. Looking at the stars, man. Leave him alone. He likes stars. All right, stars gazers descent. All right, so clearly we're not gonna be viewing that all log, so we're just gonna be uh, drifting, so, trying to have some fun. These cars are pretty much just for fun, you know. That's all they are. Alrighty, let's see. Let's see if we get some close quarter drifts. There we go. There we go. Oh, lost the speed. Yep, see, I drifted the. I pushed the fucking. The handbrake. Because I thought I was going to go in too far. Oh! Oh! Ooh! There we go. I'll see it a bit. Ah, oh, shit. I had a feeling I was going to hit that. I was like, yeah, I'm going to hit that. <laughs> Alright. Here we're a bit open. No, you're not setting any records in this car. Let me tell you. There we go. 
go. Brake, turn, and do a long drift. No seat, pick up the speed. Handbrake and brake. Oh! Brake and brake. Woo! Yes, sir. Handbrake and brake. Here we go. I thought I was about to turn into that little fucking left turn street right there. I was like, oh wait, I don't have to go that way. No seat. Handbrake and brake. Beautiful. And speed. I like using these little cars every now and then. Not something, not one of those OP supercars to be drifting around. Sometimes it's good drifting these cars. I, dri I drive the 350Z a lot too, so. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, wait, is this good? Hmm. Like, I don't really use nitrous that much. I might actually put that on, actually. Fuck it, why not? All right, now we can ascend. And it's still daytime for some reason. I thought it was sunsetting right there for a second. Drift continuously for, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, so we're just gonna go ahead and decline. We got a horn! Beautiful. We got people watching us and now they can't see us, so what's the point of you coming? For moral support, here we go. Oh. Oh, ease off the gas right there for a second. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, can we keep a chain? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Just lost it. Where to get the target score? Target hit. Get the target hit. Oh. Taking out the signs. I don't like signs. Fuck signs. Off road drift. Lock the multiplier. Drift again. Be drifting again. Oh. Oh. Can we keep it? Can we keep it? Can we keep it? Can we keep it? Can we not hit the rail? Can we keep it? Yes, we can. Not the cleanest drift, but it's still good. Alright, now we get into the hard part. Let's see if we can get some clean drifts here. Whoa! Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Slowly, 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 but surely, slowly, but surely. Oh, shit, we're looking good. We're looking good. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, shit, we're actually doing decent. I mean, besides all those cones getting knocked off, but still, we haven't... Yeah, as we hit a wall, but we still keep our multiplier for some reason. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and finish. That's what she said. Oh, almost hit five, 500,000. Oh, well. It's fine. It's beautiful. And... I like how we're getting the same brand, but not the best parts. That had speed and acceleration, I would've lost it. Alrighty, beautiful. Alright, I guess we get, uh, have a good little thumbnail right here with all these cars in the back. Lower it and get into the snapshot. I like how everything gets brighter through this little picture place here. Alright. Go right here. Have the two balls in the end of it there. Alright. Uh, take off the bodywork damage. Where is it? There it is. Off. And then, I guess we gotta darken up a bit here. Looks too bright to me. Vintage. There we go. Nice little screenshots here. Alright. There we go. Nice little rocket bunny. S15 or S14, whatever you want to call it. Alright, there's the thumbnail, guys. Uh, you'll probably see this in the beginning of the ep uh, beginning of the video when you click on it, if you click on it. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, uh, be forward looking to the next video. And if you want, comment, let me know what cars you guys want to see. Let me know what cars you guys want to see me drive or jump around, do something. Give me, give me ideas for other videos and stuff. Just let me know. Let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.
bye bye